Glory to God. Everyone, three-minute wisdom. Three-minute wisdom. Um, I want to deal with this real quickly because the Lord is speaking to me about this. And I'm going live on Facebook. Uh, don't let anything in this life stop your momentum. Momentum is an anointing to be undisturbed. Momentum is Jesus stirring you up. He's stirring you up. It's him giving you excitement. It's him giving you inspiration. Momentum is Jesus giving you life, breathing oxygen into your soul. You never let anything in this life affect your momentum. Your momentum is where the Lord has made revelation real to you. He has made your deliverance real to you, your provision real to you, your promised land real to you, your favor real to you, your anointing real to you, your man of God real to you. Once you receive momentum, don't lose it. Elijah had a lot of momentum. He lost the momentum when he heard a report from Jezebel. The report from Jezebel made him lose momentum. That shows you that what you believe is truth can take away your momentum. Even if it's from a creditor, it can take away your momentum. Even if it's from a boss, it can take away your momentum. Even if it's from someone that you have confided in. Don't lose momentum, no matter what you have to do. Sometimes you have to take the moment to refocus, redirect your attention on what God wants you to be studying. Sometimes you have to be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted amongst the heathen. Momentum is the grace that God gives you to not fail. Momentum is where Jesus becomes your cheerleader. Momentum is where your angels are ministering to you. Momentum is where God is tailor-mading. He, 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 he's giving you a tailor-made atmosphere. Momentum is where wisdom is increasing inside of you. The Bible said that a wise man is strong in Psalm chap, uh, Proverbs chapter 24, I believe, verse 5 and on. A wise man is strong. Momentum is the momentum of God that's operating inside of you so that you won't ever be discouraged. Yield to the momentum of God. Protect the momentum. Don't let wrong people speak in your ear. Don't let wrong reports affect you. Don't let the responses of people that are not as close to God as you are affect you. You're going to meet people that are not as close to God as you. They may not be with God at all. Some of them are at a distance. Some of them are not with him at all. But either way, they're still dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them affect your momentum. Explaining is draining to the anointing on your life. Explaining is draining to the anointing on your life. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. 